I know it's muted. I was just setting up a match. <laughs> I know it's muted. I just setting up a match here. What's up, Jason? What's up, Portal? I'm glad you enjoyed Raw earlier today. Just wanted to see the pyro. Just wanted to see the pyro. Hello. Just starting up the stream here. What's up, man? Love your universe mode vid. Keep it up. Thank you, Josiah. Amadeus? Hello. So. So. I wanted to, I guess, interact with you guys in a way where I can at least answer some questions. I feel like a lot of you will have. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know that I am that, you know, this season, season 10 is practically one branded. I'm not willing to do a two brand, at least not at the moment, because... I got a lot of things on my um on my plate, and honestly, I felt like get I felt like uploading Raw and SmackDown every week. It felt I it felt I was slowing things down, and I just didn't want to do it no more. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I do with the camera, and the reason why you you saw at WrestleMania and you've seen. In other matches, um, how I mess around with the camera. So practically, where is it? It should be here, like the HUD for the camera. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. So this is practically what I do here. Oh wait, I guess I gotta show the whole HUD. Okay. okay. Or not, sure. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is practically what I do every match. Rock vs. Bad Bunny. Why does that actually sound like a good match, especially with that version of the Rock? I, I don't know, it just clicked. I don't know, I'm just like, fuck it, these two. These two, why not? But yeah, this is practically, I. So again, it's it, I'm starting to get used to this camera thing. That's why I, I you see a lot of matches that kind of like a lot of jump cuts, cause like I'm trying to find not only the best angles, cause like guys, in case you don't know, I'm sick to death of like watching one camera and it just follows everywhere. I'm sorry, that that's just me. Maybe I got WWE ionized. <laughs> When it comes to that, I might be the only one. I might be the only wrestling fan that doesn't complain about Kevin Dunn's camera angles. I I'm sorry. Like, that's the one thing I cannot blame Kevin Dunn for. I would not be against that. I'm sorry. The way how it, it, it clicked for me. Because, like, I don't know. Like, the, 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 the angles, for example, when we're having promo segments. And then you got... You got one person here, one person to the left, one person to the right, and then one person says something slick, and then you want to know what the other person's reaction is going to be, and then their timing on that is perfect. So, I don't know. I'm just, I just prefer it. Like, that's just me, though. Okay, so R3 is the camera. I think this match is over, and it is. <laughs> ah! Rock beats Bad Bunny. I, I, I don't even know how. Bad match. Well, Dave Meltzer, well, he didn't like the match. Sorry. It was not in the Tokyo Dome. So, it will not do well. But, yeah. I just want to show y'all how the camera works. That's all. I just want to show, show y'all the camera works. Um, I don't have that much arenas yet to unlock. Because I, I just started the freaking... Uh, 
the my rise thing because i know i have to unlock a lot of shit so and i had to finish up the showcase because my god the showcase was so bad i hate it i hate it. i played it on easy guys play the showcase on easy just to get through it all don't even play it on hard it's not worth your time it's not i'm sorry hey right. 2k i'm sorry i'm sorry the game is great, but showcase is the is the biggest downfall of the whole game. How, how is it worse than my faction? Crazy. I don't even know. Okay, maybe slow it down. Let's see how that works. Let's put. Uh, let's try. And then you practically just set up uh, a segment. So this is practically what I do here. This is practically what I do for that. So I pick a pick an arena that I'm working on. So let's say it's gonna be the next raw arena. Fuck it, I don't really care. <laughs> this gonna be the next raw arena. Nothing special. It's just, it's just what mimic in real life. Which I I might switch it to this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking about it. But yeah, switch it to this one. Boom, Cody, whatever attire, right? Suits. And then let's say Roman Reigns is the guy. Again, these are community creations that got. Uh, if you want a championship in the segment, you gotta have entrance and song. So first, this is the step I have to go through, bruh. I gotta record the entrances first without the tables in sight. And then I have to record again. <laughs> I have to record the entrances, and then once I get my shot, I have to skip all of this, go through all the transitioning, go through the loading, go through all of this. 
right, go through all of that, yeah, 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 ding, 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 and then exit. That's how I get the entrance with the championship, right? Then I go back, go back in the arena, pick a table. This is how you get rid of the referee. You pick a table. And then again, the Cody, right? And then Roman, uh-huh, boom. And then with the tables match, what you're able to do here is you don't record the entrance, but you get the shot with him holding the bell. Only one though, it sucks. Like, I, can't, I can't figure out how to do more than one, but this is the best I can do, honestly. So I gotta go through this whole process of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and all this nonsense, right? With the music playing in the background and all that, all this loading screen, I gotta actually wait just to get the fucking shot. Cody comes out, blah, 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 hype up the crowd. I gotta go through all of this, guys. I <laughs> feel like this is the process I go through, or I'm sure everybody else has gone through this shit, too. Uh, this is the process of what we go through for segments. Gotta do the whole thing, and then, yeah, I've got the lights. Whoa, pyro. And then, gotta wait for the nameplate to come on. Come on, come on, the come on. And then the other controller is comes in. Give it a couple of seconds. I'm Roman Reigns now. Yeet. Yeet. And then, boom. Take him down. The bell's already rung, so you don't have to worry about that. And then take the belt. Go into the ring. Have the camera right on the, the hard cam. Because, like, what? there's no animation for, like, microphone shit. And then you just use the other controller to get rid of the tables. Out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, like, just hide him somewhere. Like, I always have to go deep, deep, deep into the arena. That's practic. That's and then and then after that, after that practically, um, once you get rid of the tables and then you start filming your segment, especially with the belt in the hand. See, some people I couldn't do it, like Jay Jay White. I couldn't do it because the game in two K twenty three is so bullshit. It gets stuck in the middle of the in the air. So I was like, you know what? Not gonna deal with it. But yeah, practically got Cody with the belt, have this anger, have this camera angle, at least where you could see Cody and the belt in hand, and then go to work. Do what you gotta do, blah blah blah. Have it right there and then film. And that yeah, a lot of work, guys. <laughs> Just to get one segment done. Oi, and then and then you know, the attack segments, oh my days, those ones are annoying. But but overall, that's what I go through for a segment. That's how I create segments. Oi. Now the to get to Jason's uh question, how you how do you create real voice on the superstar? You have to get audio clips of their voice and then whatever like uh AI voice website or program that you use it will clone it will clone the the voice of a wrestler say cody rhodes see if you got a promo from cody rhodes his voice is in it right so you just get the audio clip you put it into the clone machine or the clone site and then it'll just go to work and then whatever it sounds the closest to the superstar that you're trying to clone their voice of it works how do you think people got those Barack Obama and the Donald Trump and all those videos? That's pretty much that's that's how I figured it out finally. But you gotta pay a certain subscription to get access to that. Just saying. Uh, would you ever consider adding custom superstars into Universe Mode like an NXT type show? I've tried that before in two K sixteen. Um. If you don't, if if you've been watching for a long time, uh, in two K sixteen, I did a show. It was superstars, and it was like superstars, but it was NXT like in the full cell arena and the small arenas and all that. And I would just have custom wrestlers just fight it. That's what I I did that for a bit, but I'm like, eh, it's not really, it's not hitting the same for me. 
it's not really like I care, right? Like compared to the wrestlers that's in the game. That's why I kind of stick to the wrestlers in the game because at least I have so much more I can work with than it's a call. That's just me. That's just me. But trust me, there have been times where I'm like, oh, this character looks sick. What can I do with it? You know? And the reason and the main reason why I don't want to add any like sp like specific like a call from a fan to be more specific is because if I got to add one of you muff cuz I got to add you all <laughs> and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you would want to see your your created character in the game and I didn't want to do that. I I don't want to do that because I just feel like a lot of people would be like, "Oh, I want I want my call. How do I get my call in the game? And it's like, ah, uh, I don't. I, and then, and then worse, you're gonna be blaming me for how your creative character is being booked. I'm not taking that fight. That's a lot of heat. I'm not taking that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. For you guys to be like, um, Jim, um, why is my guy jobbing out to Jey Uso? Like, what's going on here? Like, I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that fucking heat. That that's my reason. I'm never doing uh, a call from you guys, cause I I can't. I can't. That is, and you guys know that is true. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Yeah, cause they're gonna be like, hey, why is this, that, and the third happening? It's like, um, I don't know. <laughs> and then people are gonna have. Trust me. You people, y'all might say, nah, no, mm -mm. some of y'all will have issues with that. I guarantee it. It will come down. I swear, down the line, it will happen. It will happen. Um, all right, what else we got here? Yo, bro, you inspired my dad with the uterus. I mean, hey, I mean, that's crazy. Um, I didn't think I, I, I still question why the fuck y'all watch me. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Be right back. Should I do? I don't want to. I don't want to play a game right now. Um, let me try war games and then fuck around with the camera. Let's see how that works. I gotta prepare somehow, all right? So la da 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 da. Whoever, 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 whoever. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Oh, shout out to the hello for the. <laughs> we got Cody in the bloodline against Jey Uso and Gunther and McIntyre, I think. Hey. All right, uh, let's still get to your questions. Get to your questions. I'm not gonna have to gameplay all the way back now. Okay. I'm here to talk to y'all. I'm not really here for the gameplay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. What about promos? Like, what about promos? What about promos? Like backstage? Uh, I can show you that. I can show you that as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, this could th oh this could work. This could work, guys. I could I could maybe I could maybe oh this could work, guys. Oh yeah, this could definitely could work. Oh yeah, 
This is oh yeah, y'all gonna love me for this one. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all gonna love this one. Just gotta learn about the camera a bit more. I gotta go in there. So there we go. Yeah, at least see this is way better than last year already. All right. So yeah, what about backstage promo? It's still the same thing. You still have to have the the controller, and then you still gonna have the um. Uh, you know, look, figure out where you want to place them, and then the highlight reel. It's still the same process. Facts. How do you even do it, bro? That real voice of wrestling you put in your universe. Yeah, it's. I gotta get. You gotta get audio clips of people, and just be careful how you use it, though. Keep that in mind. I'm only using it just for the series i'm not using it to have them say anything wild type shit like i'm not i'm not gonna, gonna abuse it like that it's just for within the wrestling realm it's nothing nothing else for me um but yeah i gotta get you gotta get clips audio clips of the wrestlers uh that you're using and then you gotta have the right ones and ha and then you have to put it in a website where it clones the voice and then you let it let it rock. See how it feels. Uh, can we book matches for Universe World? I you know I'm not gonna King Prince King Prince Gates. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like I thought about I thought about uh, doing a Cyber Sunday for so long, but I'm just like, how can I do it in the way that they did it in real life? Like how, cause like my only issue is the voting of the matches. Like how do I get to that point? I don't want to think, I don't want to do it live. I don't want to do that. Hmm. If I could find a way to have like a poll for you guys to, to sign up and then you guys like vote ahead of time, then, um, I guess I could do something like that. That might be the closest thing I could do. Maybe get a voting poll thing and just let it go and then hide the results if I can and then boom, you'd be able to uh, be able to just show it and then boom, we have Cyber Sunday or Table Tuesday or whatever and then we just go crazy. I don't know. It's a lot to think about. Let's see. How good is the game? Says Randall. The game is... The game wise, like it's smoother than last year. It, that is that is fact. It is smoother than last year for sure. Um, the timing and the reversals, and there's so much that they added to it. Like there's many ways that you can get help as far as like game difficulty goes. Um, but yeah, it just it's just smoother. The controls are the same. It's practically two two K twenty three. But like the biggest or like the best patch ever. <laughs> That's practically what it is. If you, if you really look at it, like you got the best patch, like similar to when they gave us a uh, 2.0 last year for free. You know, like something like that type of patch. A whole ninety dollars worth of patch, but a patch, <laughs> I guess. Uh, DDT rug. Or DD Trog FN says, I have a question. How do you create thumbnails and intros? So, normally with the thumbnails, I just take uh, a picture or a couple from the episode and then I just, like I did, like I did with my thumbnail today, I just, I wanted to try something different because I felt like I gave Aiden a lot of. A lot to do, and I was like, I kind of want to do something myself. It's like I'm Monday Night Raw. It's like the weekly show. I'm not. I don't really care too much about it. I feel like you guys are gonna watch regardless. To that point, like the thumbnail cannot. It's not gonna be horrible, but at the same time, can it be better? Yes, I'm still on that. But I feel like Raw is like the weekly shows. Like I feel like the pay per view should get the aided treatment, if you will. So I don't want to. Uh, do all that if you will but uh 
the intros i pretty much take footage from matches i've recorded or didn't record or uh, matches I recorded and didn't edit, rather, or didn't put in videos. Uh, and I just try to match the video clip with the songs I use that hopefully don't get copyrighted, because that is important to me now, uh, <laughs> at least over the last couple of years. Because uh, uh, I want this channel to grow, and for videos to be blocked, I just don't like that. It's like people all around the world watch my shit not gonna lie to you like i look at the analytics it's it's a it's amazing it's amazing to know that people from the united states is watching a dude from canada it's <laughs> like it's a, it's incredible people from the united kingdom from ireland from india from saudi arabia even to watch videos of mine and shit it's crazy if you look at the statistics it's kind of crazy to know that that how accessible that youtube is for everybody that people, I could go, I could probably go somewhere and people would be like, yo, that's this guy. It's like, well, no, I'm not him, but I'm, I'm this guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm Jim, I'm not this guy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah, they ate a treatment, because like, you, you've you made fire thumbnails over the years, you know? You've been, you've been around with me since, I think, 19? 2K19, I think? Cause I remember you did the SummerSlam thumbnail. I did the WrestleMania thumbnail and the Backlash. I think the first time you worked, you made thumbnails for me was, uh, yeah, it was 2K19. I think it was Vengeance. It was like a raw exclusive thing I did, and it was Vengeance. And you used like the Saudi Arabia th uh, renders, and you put it together. Well, I might add. <laughs> So, I, I'll take it. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, 2019, around that time period. Right right when 2K20 shut the bed. Oh, Lord. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Da, 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 da. D Money asked the same question. Inspiring my dad. That's crazy. Uh, how good the game good. good. Josh recognizes a lot of work because it is. Um, hey, boy, to three. When you choose the video option in video reel, can you choose alpha? Uh, can you choose? You can choose alpha mask and click the referee or move. To the high I mean, yeah, I know that, but um, I I got used to using the table one for so fucking long. <laughs> And I, and I guess I don't want to be in a position to where I have to be like, all right, here we go. Got a video clip. Have to come here. When I when I use those custom backstage uh, uh, arenas, so to speak, in 2K23, that, I had to do that a lot because like it was weird seeing Michael Cole and Corey Graves and Byron Saxon in the Raw locker room. <laughs> Like, if, if you want me to show you that, I can, because, like, that's fucking hilarious to see Michael, to see the commentators in the locker room. It, it's incredible. Um, but, yeah, I I've, I I recognize that. I want to blank because it is what it is. And, yeah, that was a big issue for me with my subs. They wanted their call and my stuff, and I'm like, hell no. Nah. Yeah, I mean, because, again, I don't want to get no flack. I don't want no problems. None of that with y'all. I really, really don't. I just want to be here and be chill and just play games. Is that so hard to ask? But no, y'all want me to add y'all into the game. Add y'all to a universe mode. For y'all to judge me. For y'all to give me the AEW treatment. <laughs> no fucking chance. No, 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 no. By the way, did you know I deleted... <laughs> Bro, I deleted... Um... Like, bro, I haven't touched this game in months. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did I hide it? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> like, I deleted this shit. I, didn't, I don't care. It sucks. I, I Gameplay is fun. Gameplay is fun. I'll give it that. But I need more. I need more with it, bro. This is like mac and cheese. I need more of it with that, bro. I can't. It just, I, I, you know, like, it is what it is. But I need more than that, man. Uh, 
I was making his Raw and SmackDown and pay-per-view. I've done this for a while, on and off since 2019. Yeah, man. Appreciate. Appreciate. Definitely improved. But yeah, Vengeance was the... Vengeance Day was uh, the one. Yeah. Kyle Miller. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Five Forever is worse than 2K20. God damn. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's that broken. But yeah. Do you see the differences 2K23 and, and 2K24? In certain aspects, yes and no. Like, the only reason why this is different, you can tell it's different, is the way how they load into matches. Like, the camera angle was different now. Like, they will do a, like a far away panning, zooming into the, uh, into the arena thing, rather than just the same old visual look that they always give it. I don't know, it's weird to explain it verbally, but like, when you see it visually, it's a different breed. Uh, gameplay, it's smoother, and it's not annoying to deal with, I would say. And the AIs are a lot better in this one compared to 23. Just saying. I would say this is an upgrade from 2K23. That's what I expected, except for this part where Jimmy Uso is just walking in place. With the table in the way. That's something they gotta fix though. The 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 freaking weapons can be uh, a little wonky, if you will. Roman got the spear. And I guess that's it. No, he kicked out. Gunther with the power bomb, but Jimmy right there for the save. I wish they brought back la lockups. And the more simulation style, I hate the grapple stuff. Yeah, I wish, I wish it did. Cause I remember everybody was like against that for a time period. Um, I remember everybody, everybody was against that for a time period. But then when it when they took it away, and then they and then they have this system from two K twenty two where they just grapple. It's almost like a arcade type of gameplay. That's when everybody started to come out and be like, yeah, well, they should bring back the uh, the simulation stuff. It's like, so wait, y'all bitched about it in 2K15. Y'all, y'all tried it. Y'all changed your tune a little bit in 2K16. Y'all bitched about it 17, 18, 19 was fine, 20 was shit. But, but, now that they take it away, now y'all want it back. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, man, I, I do... Love the the lockups. It got me into the game a lot more, honestly. Oh, look, oh my God, Jay! <laughs> he just lost Cody. <laughs> wow, Jay Uso and McIntyre on the same page. That's crazy. That never happened in real life. <laughs> At least not now. At least not now. Maybe when McIntyre or, or Jay, and a Jay turns heel and he joins McIntyre, or McIntyre turns face, and then he forgives Jay. That's the only way I see it. I don't see it any other way out. That's just me. Uh, I would rather play Fight Forever than 2K20. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think any was a bit wild. There's a glitch with a chair where the arm stuck to it when they uh, when they're not any when they're not anywhere near it. And it looks like their arm is ripping off. Happened in one of my ep episodes. You can see it, it is cringe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just... It just... When they, when they started adding Tony Storm, not even modern day, current day Tony Storm. It's, it's, it's Tony Storm that we're used to from like NXT to... When she debuted in AEW, it's like, ah, uh, we we're past the whole, like, yeah, rock on, Tony Storm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're on to classical, timeless Tony Storm. But I don't know. They're just fumbling the bag. And now they brought Swerve. It's like, okay, cool. The roster is starting to kick in. The fact that CM Punk is still in the game is hilarious to me. But, I mean, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't be mad at it. can't be mad at it. Uh, I think... That might be. Yeah, can we book like Phil or Raw and <laughs> matches? Uh... Yeah. I tried that before in 2K19 or 20, I think it was. 
I even made a whole video like hyping it up too. I was like, yeah, you guys can. This is the first pay per view you guys can book for matches, and then it's like, I got nothing from them, <laughs> or like. People gave me ideas, and I was just like, hmm, I can work with this. I don't want to do that. I, I don't know. Like, I tried, I tried to get ideas from you guys, and then just, it just didn't, it didn't click. It just didn't click. Um, let me see. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Lucha, 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 lucha. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. That'll be the. That'll be it. That will be it. And I don't. I don't care. We're, we're, damn, no general shit. It just. This is just all show overlay type thing. Okay. Oh. 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 This game looks awesome in 4K, uh, very detailed. Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. Can't wait for WrestleMania. Dog, I'm telling you, can, can I be honest? This whole thing with The Rock and everybody, like, I, I feel like people overlook the fact that this is not The Rock's story. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It, it's not. It's just... It's just not, it's not his story. Like, he's a part of it, but it's not his, though. You feel me? Like, it's, it's not. Like, like, Rock, like, Rock, I get it. I get it. People's champ, people are behind you, yada, yada, yada. Look, point is, this is Roman, and this is Cody's story. The Rock is just there. Like, he, he's gone after WrestleMania. He's gone after WrestleMania. I'm just saying. Like, he's not going to be around long. He's gone. And people really, like, they just, I, I'm just looking at tweets earlier today. And it's like, oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the story has, has been lacking because... The Rock is not in it, or like that one week because The Rock was not on SmackDown and it was just Roman and Cody. It's like, guys, guys, those are the main guys in the story. The Rock is just a third act in the in the whole story. Like, you, <laughs> you, like you guys, you guys are forgetting the fact that at least we're gonna see Roman and Cody after WrestleMania. We're not gonna see The Rock after WrestleMania. <laughs> like, we're we're not. And if we do, that's cool. We're we're blessed. But I doubt it. I just doubt it. I doubt we'll see The Rock after this. I doubt it. You know, The Rock is here. He said for the long game. So, let's do 10. I'm not doing fucking 10. I'm not going to do 30, rather. Uh, let's do women. Why not, Art? Chris Danger. Why not? Uh, number one, run the gauntlet. 99 overall. Bet. Let's see how you do. Let's see how you do in this 10 man Royal Rumble match. Can you go? Can, uh, can you go into your shooting camera and go at the Royal Rumble? I'm about to show you how, how it is. Is this your story? No. But neither is The Rock. It's Big Dog and the American Nightmare story. The camera is wallet. Okay, Mike, Mike, we get it, we get it, we get it, fuck. Is The Rock in WWE for good or part-time? He's part-time, my guy. And I'm I, I'm not saying this as I know shit, don't quote me, ain't no Meltzer, ain't none of that. It's just, guys, The Rock is in his 50s. <laughs> and unless he's he got that Cody Rhodes special, unless he got that Cody Rhodes, uh, the Cody Rhodes, the, the Adam Copeland special from AEW, I'm not putting him in my series, Aiden. I'm just saying. I, I, I've thought about it, but I'm not doing it. But yeah, uh, like again, he he's he's there for a time period. I thought The Rock would be back ten years ago. I thought, okay, 
Who is this bald Samoan guy on my screen? Oh, shit, he's fucking hilarious. Oh, he's named The Rock. Weird name, but it, it, it fits him. Why not? <laughs> and then to see him and then go on to beat John Cena the next year and then win the title and all that shit. I thought he would be full time, but he'd be gone every time. So yeah, I could definitely mess around with the camera. Where the fuck? Am I tripping? I swear the music went off and the buzzer went off too, right? Or am I tripping? And it never did. I could have sworn I heard the crowd chant five, four, three, two, one, and then it just it just went blank. Okay, that's the key. See, this is the hard camera. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'm almost there. I'm on my way there. Jesus. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, but Femi. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Bruv. Bruv. Oh, dear. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. He's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that didn't work. Let's let's see how it is uh, in other arenas because that's... This is good. This is fuck. This is a test for us, guys. This is a test for us. Why not? Let's see how it is. One night stand. Uh, let's see for the women. Courage. I'm not playing this. I'm doing the camera angles. I am Kevin Dunn. Damn it, Bailey. Number one. Run. Run that shit. Don't use that angle. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay, there we go. I could do. I could do this. Let's see if they're gonna if they're, if they're gonna come out. They're gonna be stuck. I want to see how this goes. All right, we're off the rip. Okay, here they come. Oh shit, it's Dakota! Okay! Damage control! We got the power, control the stage, and then the cage, and then the rage, and all that. Yeah! <laughs> Dakota just taunting while EO and Bailey just duking it out in the ring. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh no, for the Royal Rumble, guys, guarantee you it will be the ROH Here Comes the Pain angle. Alright? Don't worry about that. But every other show, yeah, it's gonna be the normal. We got Valhalla with no antlers. Michael Cole will be so upset. Tragic. This is why these custom arenas, just these cool custom arenas are a crappy idea. They got all the trons in different spots and you can't do rumbles or gauntlets. True, true. Got anything else? I think that's all. No more questions, guys? I'm still here for the questions. I think that's Celine. No, that's Scarlet. That is Scarlet. I want the connection. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The freaking highlight reel button is the uh you know on the PlayStation 5 you got that the that the little pad. Pause. You got that pad here? Yeah, that. Okay. Uh no. No. Why did I go there? Can I change the camera? No. I can! Okay, good. I can do that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's what you're going to see, guys, in, in months from now. Got the hard camera on deck. 
So wait, how does this work? Okay, so that's still there. And then boom. And then boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then here comes Tiffy time. Cool. Are you going to use backstage fight angle? Oh, what? I think so. I already know how to answer that question. I really don't. I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. Bailey's still in it. There's Tiffy time. It's Piper Niven. Oh yeah, this rumble's gonna be so much good, so much better. Oh lord, I can't wait. They better keep this feature in every game moving forward. 2K. You better keep this shit. I need this. This is the only thing that is going to keep me doing your as well moving forward. Can you change the camera while playing or? No, nah, it's just CPU. Only AI versus AI. I even tried to like have two controllers as like playable. And then like one of them being like a camera guy. I was thinking that could be half. That could happen. No, nah, can't do it. Only a 1v1, you can only do the spectate thing. Or uh, rather, when it's AI versus AI. When it's an AI battle, uh, that's where you can mess around with the camera. But when it's someone in there, can't do it. Molly Holly, yay. Here she comes. So many bodies to focus, and then you can just do this, which I've done a lot in gameplay. I will not lie to you guys. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Left up a bit. Boom. Look at that. Yeah. Welcome to the ECW uh, Carnage match. Yeah. Uh oh, look at Scarlet. Scarlet's getting eliminated. Scarlet, oh, oh, she's still in there. Ooh, big shot there by Piper Devin. I'm very close to the ring now. Now I'm in the ring post. I really love this so much. Y'all have no idea. I'm sorry if it annoys you. I really love this. Look at, look at EO. Ugh, backbreaker on the head. Look at that. Look, oh, oh, look at Piper. And Bailey's eliminated. Ah, oh, look at that. That's crazy. Look at EO. Does EO have it? No. Irish whip, but Piper in the way. Uh, so glad they brought back the rear camera angle from SVR 11. Yeah, man. I guess. I've been waiting for that ever since they took it away. I was like, bro. At least for the rumble. At least for the rumble. Keep it, man. Keep it. But they got it for the whole shit. So we are good. Can you uh are you gonna be doing two night at P No, hell no. Oh no 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 no. I'm not doing that. I don't wanna do that. Two parts for a payback period of event? Nah. Only for WrestleMania. Only for WrestleMania. Or like maybe a, I did it with a SummerSlam two years ago. I did do that. I just thought doing a two-night event would, I guess, make it worth its while. Uh, I feel like one was...
we can make great WWE real life shows with these with the camera angle. Honestly, bro, I'm telling you, that's what I'm trying to do with the camera angles. I feel like they can help. And and but I will say this though, the worst time to mess around with the camera ang the camera angle. Why did she just twerk? Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing, Scarlet? Uh, I was gonna say, uh, put the camera, uh, top of the ring, point down. Top of the ring, point down. Oh, oh I think you'd be in, um, hold on, bear with me, guys. I gotta go through all these fucking angles just to get that shot. There we go. Tiffany's gone. Eo's gone. Piper and Evan and... Molly Holly going on, and Gigi and Scarlett going on. Look at this shot. I ain't gonna lie, I like this shot. You're gonna see this a lot in some videos. I'm not even gonna lie to you. In some matches. Oh, that's a bit too far. Bring it down. Okay. And then. Boom. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. So I decided today. Okay, Canadian destroyer by Scarlet is crazy, uh, but yeah, I decided today that I'm gonna add NXT Premium Live events. I want to make the NXT title almost mean not as much, but like give it some level of importance. Uh, so I'm gonna add NXT events into the calendar, so that way I could. Let NXT have the NXT title main event the show. But also, I kind of want to use other NXT... I want to use other arenas, like the NXT Great American Bash or Battleground or No Mercy even. Like, things like that. Like, I want to dabble with uh, WWE's uh, premium live events, especially with NXT. Like, I've been wanting to do that for so long. And finally, I'll get that shot. So fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this year. We're gonna have payback. There's a premium live event after payback that I'm working on, and Piper Nimit gets the win. Look at that. Bah. Just chucked over the top rope, and boom, we got a dub. We got a victor. We got a victor here. You should do. I've got uh, Kyle, Kyle Miller, Kyle Miller. I I've done that four years in a row. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> I think since two K eighteen. No, since two K nineteen. Two K nineteen, and then I think in two K twenty. And then, uh, yeah, for the, and then two more years after that, I just did SmackDown vs. Raw, and then I tried to mix it up with the King of the Ring, and I still did that. I'm tired of it. And honestly, I, I just felt like I've done it for too long. I'm trying to change it up. That's why I said SmackDown is on hiatus. It's because... If I don't, if I feel like this one branch shit is not it, I can just go back to it. But for now, we just gonna have to work it out. Why not? Yeet, no yeet. On old SmackDown. I might do that. Old SmackDown, maybe. But I feel like y'all would be like, oh, bring back SmackDown entirely. It's like, no. I miss when you do Raw vs. SmackDown. I love it. It's like, I know, guys, but sometimes things just get tiring and old. I, I, I'll tell you, man. I told a friend of mine this so many times. It's like, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, when I do it, yeah, I do give it meaning compared to WWE. Like, they don't do shit with it. Like, I, I try to, like, I think I messed up giving people, like, Royal Rumble spots one year. Um, I think I had, like, 
one where the winner will main event the next pay-per-view. I think I used to do that for a couple of years. Yeah. I used to do a lot of things at Survivor Series, but I feel like now it's like... I think like the whole brand versus brand is just boring to me. That's why I'm going to treat Raw like it's practically WCW or at least AEW. That's why there's a lot of championships in AEW in the in, in, uh, in universe world. Because, like, I'm not necessarily done with brand split for per se. It's just I need a break. And I didn't want to stop making universe world videos. So I thought... One brand would be the only way I can do this, or I'm I'm gonna have to stop. Cause like WWE has not given me any reason to like want to do the brand split. Again, I'm I'm more influence of what I watch, as well as what I do. So. Man, look at that set. That's crazy. That looks proper. Somehow this looks way better than it does in 2K23. The lighting is better. That's why. 2K23 was like... It was either dark as hell or, or bright. Like, it's, it's just bad. Okay. It's like the the brand split. I just felt like I was creatively bankrupt in a way. Not because I couldn't think of anything for anyone specifically. I felt like I was formatting the shows the same. Like start with the intro, start with pyro intro, introduce the crowd, introduce everyone to the show. Then have the match card, and then we had to do a segment or a match. And then I, then on SmackDown, I'll just repeat the same formula. And, and then I felt like, why am I doing the same formula for both shows? It shouldn't be like that. And I've kept it like that for many years. And I thought, you know what? And then I've also put into perspective of Universe Moan out, like, other Universe Moan. I felt like I was blending in with everybody else. And I'm not trying to say anything negative about others. It's just, I just felt like, what's different from this, from this person? You know, like, what's different from Jim's Universe Moan to, say, uh, to say, like, a Phoenix, right? Or rather, uh, what's different from... Jim's brand split universe mode era to like a creator or uh like other content creators that does the same thing that does the brand split. That's why hey, gotta give him credit, Coltrane, gotta give him credit. AEW and ROH, I thought about that for so long, but then I'm like I don't know if I can do it. Because there's a lot the way how I produce everything, I'm strictly a WWE guy. It's a lot easier for me. It's a lot easier for me, I will say. Are you going to do a World Rumble for a championship? I've wanted to. Honestly, I think. I think for the world title, I wanted to do that this year. I was going to have. That, that was the initial idea for me. I was going to give Jay White. The Royal Rumble match. Like, have him defend the belt in the Royal Rumble match. But because 2K23 took it out for some strange reason, I couldn't do it. I was going to do it. Because I was like, ah, like, you know, like, I, just, I didn't know. I didn't know, man. But yeah, I just, that's, that's just how it's going to be. Maybe down the line I might do it, but I don't know what title for. Maybe the world title. And I do want to clear that up with you guys as well. Um, why do I have a lot of championships? Well, I want to push a lot of people. And also, because Raw has more time now, I do want to not only have a lot of... I want to 
treat Raw like it's Nitro or like it's Dynamite. Like when they had one show, I mean, before they start branching off to two shows. Like this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to treat Monday Night Raw as like the number one show and then everything else around it will make Raw very, very good. I felt like why not have everybody on one show and then just make it the best every week? Rather than something lackluster one week here, one week out. One week it's good, one week it's trash. SmackDown is good here, Raw is bad here. SmackDown is bad here, Raw is good here. I, I just didn't like that dynamic. There was times where I was able to keep up with both. Both was eating, both was doing good because I had ideas for both. But then by 2K22, I just, I just felt like, yeah, I think I reached my peak and I'm done. <laughs> like, I think I reached my limit and I'm good now, honestly. They did the back and forth thing twice here. I like that. Ooh. Back and forth. Just back and forth. Non-stop. You put time and effort editing your videos. I do. Even, uh, thank God I got cannabis to help me through <laughs> editing. Because, honestly, it's sitting down and editing stuff. It's just so boring. Yes, I could add music to it, but it'll just distract me from what I'm doing. That's why when I smoke my cannabis, I smoke hybrid just so it can get me focused. And then when I need to chill, it's right on cue. So I'm not promoting that to y'all. I'm just saying this is how I get through editing because I need something. If you have music, you drink tea or whatever, you work out, whatever you need to do to focus on when you're editing your stuff. It is what it is. That was a great match, by the way. Like, I was talking, but I'm also watching. And I was like, damn, this is actually decent. They did a back and forth, and then it ended on a finish, I think, right? So, huh. Maybe slow for... And, and again, some of the matches, it's hard to tell. Because when you record... See, now they're both slow. So, let's... We're going to test this out. We're going to test this out once again. Let's say... Uh, bu 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 we got... Let's see. Let's see how it is with Cody Rhodes and Gunther at Payback for the WWE Championship. If we get a good match... Go, uh, mm, actually, you know what? No. I got a better idea. Let's try a never before matchup. Let's see. Cora Jade will take on Selena Vega for the WWE Women's. I've thought about bringing this in. I thought about it. And then I realized we have too much belts, too many belts, and I don't want to do it. But I have thought about bringing in a women's United States Championship. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I I thought about it. I recorded a whole like qualifying matches. I've recorded everything. But then I was like, Nah, don't want to do it. If you look at WrestleMania, I think night one, I was gonna have Molly Holly announce that Cody Rhodes would be vacating the U.S. title to give it to the women's division. And then thus the women will have the U.S. title to fight for. Because there's a lot more women on the roster. But then I was like, that's too many titles for the... for I feel like it's too many singles titles for me to book off of. Like the women's world and the WWE women's title was annoying enough to book around. So I felt like adding one more would do too much. I got rid of the U.S. title because, again, I don't want to use it. I feel like it's it's a relevant title right now, and I just don't care for it. So, I, and, I, and I look back I look back in my past. In Season 7 of Universe Mode, the, the, um, that series, I did Christian 
Christian's North American title reign, if you remember that on SmackDown. I did a North American title reign on SmackDown. For Christian, it was Sami Zayn, and he was the champion when he beat Sheamus. Rich, uh, you know, Roman Reigns unified the U.S. title with the WWE title. Thus, SmackDown does not have a second title. Then, boom, North American title comes in, and then that's it. Christian had that title, held it for months until, I think, towards the end of the year. And then, then I decided to bring back the U.S. title because I think at that point, I, I don't know. I don't know why I brought it back, honestly. But I feel like if I'm going to do, like, mid-card belts, the U.S. title has no purpose for me. I'm sorry. Like, it's just, like, I don't I don't see what I could do with it other than just, just have it there. It, it would just feel like a secondary title that I don't need. The NXT Championship is not that for me right now. It's not. It's more of a championship that I'm going to be focusing on pushing the younger talent. Because I've been wanting to do that since last year, and I... And I just didn't really connect dots with it. But now I'm willing to. Now I can finally put 100% focus onto that. That's why with the NXT Championship, I'm trying to book guys like a Grayson Waller. Like a, like a Solo. Like a Braun. Like like Damian Priest almost. You know, like, a, like there's people like that I'm trying to push. Because... I want to give them a shot because I feel like I've been pushing the same people over the last couple of years. And I'm trying to prep up more people now. I'm trying to do what WWE does in real life, actually. I'm trying to get y'all to give a shit of why I'm pushing this person. <laughs> so that's why. That's why for some people, I just have them win matches. And then when, when they win matches, that's how they get pushed into championship bouts. Like, that's how I push Gigi Dolan. Like, how can I not? She won War Games. She beaten Trish Stratus. She beaten Tiffany Stratton. Former champions, nonetheless. Won the Tag Titles Elimination Chamber. Then she qualified and won the Elimination Chamber match. And then won the title. Like, that's a hell of a story. All within a couple months. It's crazy. It's either that, or then I could do, like, a, a storyline way of getting them into the championship match. So. Multitude of wins. Alright, what's up, Jim? From Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie, shout out to you again. Uh, shout out to you, and shout out to Brandon as well for the, uh, uh, I guess, signing up to the shout out section of the channel. Which, again, appreciate y'all. If you want to donate to the channel... Two bucks. If you got two bucks, I think it is two or three dollars. Sure, go ahead. But other than that, it is what it is. Are you going to push Ju Saul? Yes. That's why I didn't have to feature him on Raw earlier today. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Not only because I wanted to show you guys Ju Saul and you know his entrance and show how he is in the game. Because you guys seen a lot of clips. But also, I want to push him. I, I tried to with the King of the Ring thing when he was fighting for the belt. And I just felt like I need to push him. But I just don't know how. Because every time I, I try to give him wins, he kept losing and losing. Every when I record somebody and they lose more times than I'm, like, I had enough recording of, then it's like, I. Like, if I'm recording uh, Sheamus versus AJ Styles off of the WrestleMania match that they had, and the wrong guy wins every single time, it's like, why, bo why, did, why bother? Why bother? And there's sometimes I will force it because I really want to get this story across, and there's sometimes I won't. Like, Cody Rhodes, I felt like he had to win the Rumble because... I didn't think of any other story for WrestleMania than Cody. I felt like this is the time. This is the time and place to maybe push Cody Rhodes. I was going to give it to Punk. But I was like. <sighs> I mean, Cody versus Gunther for the title just sounded more intriguing to me. Just the fact that Cody Rhodes is fighting for the belt. And... Gunther was, you know, 
You should let Roman unify the belt to be. I, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. And if I do unify the belt, what do I? What do I? I don't.
All right, guys. All right. Uh, are you going to let uh Roman hold the championship for three? Years? Fuck no, Jason. On the real, I ain't doing that. <laughs> Nope, you can, you can, you can, you can take that elsewhere. I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. I refuse to do that because I'm not WWE and I'm not going to be heartless. I like at least a one year title reign, like from one game to the next. I like that. That's cool. I did it with Roman. Uh, but yeah, we're not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like the last major thing I did was the whole Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. I wanted to do the four-way, but I re honestly, the reason why I recorded, the reason why I did it the way I did it was because I recorded a four-way match and the match was dog shit. It was, it was bad. It was bad. It was it was slow. The frames were horrible. I, I didn't like it. You would have hated it. So I was like, you know what? Plan B. And I was able to come up with the idea of like, how about, yeah, the wrestlers get taken out and then we just had make it a 1v1. And I did that. And then, which led to one of the greatest cashes of all time. <laughs> that I've done. Uh... But yeah. Uh, I think I should play my rise. Fuck it. Let's do that. Let's play my rise real quick. And then uh, probably be done by like 10. Maybe 10. Yeah. Oba Femi. Why Oba Femi? I don't know. I just, I just thought he was a good choice. Or maybe I should save it for a video. Maybe, yeah, I'll save it for a video. Fuck it, I'll save that. I'll save that for another time. But yeah, I think that's all the questions you guys got for me. Uh, I think that's it. But yeah, I I thought the things that I thought were a good idea, and some connected, some didn't. I enjoy Universe Small Bro. Keep it up, says Lonnie Jones. Again, been a member for five months. I get, I appreciate you, and I do not take this for granted at all. Do not take any of y'all for granted at all. For I again, I'm just a dude on the internet, just showing y'all my universe mode ideas, and it's I guess it's stuck. It's stuck. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this live stream real quick of just Q and A nonsense and. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more Universe Mode. And obviously, obviously I'm going to record my rise probably tonight. And then I'll have it up this week. Yeah.